Well, time for a little destruction. I'm going to remove this twin bed here. And I'm going to remove that one. And I am going to make a bigger bed. I'm going to also remove the shelving unit, slide it over. And I'm going to get a bigger bed in here. Two twin beds just isn't advantageous when you get a big dog that wants to sleep with you all the time. So, let's let the uh, work begin. What I did was, you see that bed's gone, and of course I'm going to have to work on the flooring now, because underneath the bed of course there was not adequate flooring, so I'll tear that all out of there and put something else down, but anyway, there's the one bed, uh, it still only has a twin mattress on it, so that's the next thing I have to do is I have to get a full size mattress, because it is full size, I measured it out for just that reason, for a full-size bed. Um, you see right here, it leaves me enough walkway to get in without too much problem. But, the one drawback is it's up against the wall. But, hey, that's all right. I can do a little climbing. What do you think, Ace? Oh, hey, there you go. I think Ace is liking it. Anyway, that's the new bedroom, if you will. To finish this bedroom out, I'm going to paint and do the flooring. And that's all that needs to be done. Of course, I'm going to have to get some different window coverings, I guess. Other than that, it'll be good. Yeah, the guy's curtain, a blanket. Look at that, I think he found himself a nice little home there. Except that's at the foot of the bed, and that's where my feet go, Ace. What do you think? Come on, let's go. All right, people. Well, till next time. Ah, oh, hell, you know what? I'm going to turn you off, and I'm going to talk a little bit more. Well, you know, there is a lot of projects to do when you buy an older camper. I'll tell you, I'm going to run down a list of things I did already. Things that need to be done. Well, naturally I gave it a good cleaning. Did a tune-up. Hooked up the solar, hooked up water pumps. Uh, I had to fix the entry steps. They wouldn't go down and they wouldn't come back up. Saying that just needed a new motor. Sealed all the leaks. Did a seal around all the windows. Uh, I had to put a new check valve in it. That's where the, it's a valve on your, your inlet where the city water gets hooked up to. Uh, put a new battery in it, a new starter battery. Uh, that one was kind of weak. I did a lot of cleaning on the terminals. They were pretty rusted out and had a lot of acid on them. And naturally, you saw, I changed the bed around. Took out the two and made one. The generator needs work on still. Can't seem to get spark on that. Tomorrow's project, the refrigerator. That isn't, it, it, I can't get it to work to save my soul. It won't work on gas or electric. But, I got this, uh, let me show you. I got this uh, little whirlpool here. Nice little refrigerator. It's got your separate freezer. And I am going to put that in this place. Now, huh, this one in here is a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a shelving unit right here. 
and I'll put that other one up top so I don't have to bend over to get in it all the time. And then from here down, be more storage. But like I said, that's going to be tomorrow's project. I'm going to paint all the walls and probably redo the flooring in here. It's got some carpet. And, you know, carpet is not advantageous to boondocking. Unless I wanted to buy a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, of course, a little 12 volt vacuum, that might be okay. Anyway, I'm going to tint all the windows. Uh, that'll help it stay cooler. So, and I'm going to dump numerous other things I got to do to it. Oh, I better check that off the list. Change the oil. Change the, uh, the transmission filter. Transmission slipping a little bit. So I changed the filter and we'll see what happens. I think it's fine. Um, and of course, I got to buy new tires. You guys already know that. The other ones were weather checked. But hey, that's the price you pay, right? Let's see, what else? You know, I'm always going to find something to do in this. Anyway, that's just a short list of things I did and things I need to do. Uh, the tune-up, that was amazing. That was amazing to me that the sucker was still running as bad as the wires were. Anyway, you guys come up with anything else, let me know. you have any ideas? I believe I'm going to repaint the outside too. Um, it'll probably be original. I'll put it to original paint. Excuse me. I'm not going to make it any. I'm not going to put flames or cartoons all over the darn thing like I always do. Might change the color scheme. I don't know. But what do you think, Ace? He's talking to me over here. Let me know. Let me know what you think. If you guys got any great ideas on how I should do this. Alright, hey. This is Randy. You guys have a wonderful day. There'll be plenty of it left, I guess. Or I should say wonderful night. See y'all next time.